All right, it's been about a week, I think. It's about a week since the eggs have hatched. I have let far too much time go by since cleaning this thing. That is 100% my fault. But we've got caterpillars, guys. We've got growing caterpillars. These guys are a third in star. Um, molting. Where they... They're looking healthy. They're all over the place. They're eating like crazy little monsters. And now my job is going to be to take out this. This, this was the old twigs that the eggs were laid on. Oh, there's one. I'm going to throw them out. What are you doing in there, bud? Oh, he's molting. Dude, they're going to get big quick. It's going to get ridiculous. All right, so I'm just going to. I'm put him there. Make sure I'm not throwing anybody else out. No. Okay. Yeah, so these, these twigs that are old and moldy, those are the ones that the eggs were initially laid on. And I put them in water picks and just rested them on top of these other leaves. So they do still have growth. It's not like they're without food, but there is some nasty old stuff in there. And I got to take it all out and... Put all new food in, guys. So that's what we're doing now. Um, put that over there. Let me pull this up here. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, that's I'm not going to show you. So good, healthy caterpillars all over the place. Okay, I have now emptied out this container. I've got putting a new liner in. And I've already got some new oak cuttings, which already have caterpillars on it. And I'm putting the new oak cuttings in the container. Gosh, what, I'm, what I really should do make two containers that's what I should do that would be the responsible thing split this in two because I've got to get all the caterpillars that are on this madness and split them up and put them into the new containers with new food because these guys are molting and they're eating and yeah they need they need healthier stuff than this they need a little room to grow too but aren't they cute aren't they so cute all right they are growing super, super fast. All right, I have two containers now, both with laurel oak cuttings. It's, it's nice. It's like kind of fresh growth. It's a little bit tender, but it's not like super, super new. Um, and all we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take these uh, caterpillars and we're going to rest these stems that have the caterpillars on them. We're going to rest them equally between these two containers. And so this, this whole thing's got three. So we're just going to rest it there. There's a guy just crawling around. Oop, he fell. He'll be all right. Uh, okay. Oh gosh, this is awful. Um. Okay. Got some good healthy caterpillars on this stuff here, guys. They're all these guys are all just molting and having a good time. Actually, I'm gonna cut these guys off so I don't have to put these whole twigs in. Like so. So I'll put these little pieces in like this. Just rest them on there. And then that way. Yeah, so it's got one, two, three, probably three of them on there.
see if I can get this guy to come off. There we go. Oops. Little guy. Grab on. I'm going to wait till you finish the Sorry. I'm just taking some video clips of, yeah. of uh, these guys. Uh, these are not healthy. all right guys check this out exciting we have a freshly emerged polyphemus moth and it's a male those great big old antennae um, I'm gonna try and pull him out now and show you guys. He's cool. Uh, he's a little smaller than a normal one. Uh, there was a season in the later instars where I think they went a little too long without fresh food. And uh, sometimes that's enough to stunt the growth. So guys, before I mess with him, let me see if I can show you guys a little bit of this beauty. Oh, what a beaut. Polyphemus moth. All right, so when I touch him, he should flash me his, his, uh, yeah, there's the big old eyes. Okay, come here. Relax. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this the nice way. Come here. He, he wants to fly. Okay, there we go. There we go. Check it out, guys. <laughs> that is a beautiful moth. Big time. Yeah, it's a little smaller than normal. He, they're usually quite a bit larger than this. Um, but, let's see if I can show you. Um, look how small the head is. And those great big antennae pop off the top there. That, oh, there he flies. Okay, I got my polyphemus moth to chill again. Again, look, look at the massive antenna of this male. And again, these antennae are used to detect pheromone that the female puts out and they are super sensitive. They can hear here. They can sense the female sex pheromone from a very long distance away. Uh, I've heard upwards of miles that might be long. I don't know. But when you put a female out and she puts that pheromone out, the boys come fairly quickly. Um, the abdomen on the male is much less thick than the females um he's actually gets the males are pretty active like they'll start flying right away and they'll start chasing the female smells right away as you can see their wings are very the coloration is very uh like cryptic and blends into you know wood wood environments or forested environments or dead leaves or whatnot so uh it's just when they get disturbed and they decide they're going to show off <laughs> the uh, their eye spots here, the fake eye spots. It's where they get the name Polyphemus from, you know, ancient uh, folklore from the was it Homer's Iliad. And these are actually these little 
eye, eye spots on the wings are used to scare away predators. And the, the silk moths, true silk moths, Saturnia, they, they all have these little windows in the wings. They've got one on the hind wing and one on the forewing where there's no scales. These are tiny, but you can actually see right through them. It's just wing, like a, like a shell of a wing with no scales, and you can actually see through it if you were to look closely enough. So um, those are pretty cool. I love the the colors here. You know, they, they've got pinks in there, and the, the, these uh, eye spots have kind of like the bluish sheen there, and the yellow there, they're just gorgeous. So um, yeah, I love this moth. Can't get enough of it. Um, hope you liked the video. There, there are more are going to pop out here sh uh, shortly. If we had a female pop out, I would put her in a uh, container and put her outside and see if we can attract wild males. That would be pretty cool. We always like to do that when we can. But until next time, guys, hope you get out there and enjoy uh, South Florida. Yes, this is a South Florida bug right here, but they live throughout most of the United States. We fed them live oak, um, but they eat any oak species. They'll eat a large variety, the caterpillars will anyway, a large variety of, um, of different plants and, and lots of hardwoods, all kinds of different things they'll eat. So they're very easy to rear. The caterpillars are pretty hardy. Just keep fresh food in the container and you'll, you'll get beauties like this eventually. So. Uh, guys, signing off for now. Hope you liked the video. Till next time, uh, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and find us a big scary moth. It's not scary at all, actually. They're actually quite docile. Take care now. Bye.